What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Old Dominion versus Western Kentucky college football matchup going down Monday, December 18th, 2023. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up if you're looking for my best bets. The games I love the most, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. But let's get to this one between Old Dominion and Western Kentucky. And... uh it's, it, you, I was going to say it used to be the Bahamas Bowl, but now it's the, uh, the, uh, the famous Toastery Bowl. Some of them are getting out of hand. But either way, you got Old Dominion coming into this game with a record of 6-6 six and six on the year. Uh, Western Kentucky at 7-5. and five. Now, this is a game where you're definitely going to have to keep note of the transfer portal, as both of these teams have had a bunch of names that have... Um, that have hit the portal for Old Dominion. You got, you know, receiver Javon, Javon Harvey, Jordan Bly, a starting safety for and Terry Jones, a bunch of other, you know, players. Um, also, uh, Old Dominion's top linebacker, Jason Henderson, nation's leading tackler is going to miss the bowl game for Old Dominion as well. For Western Kentucky, three offensive linemen are out, a starting cornerback, a starting left linebacker, starting safety. Um, also, you know, uh, uh, Starting quarterback Austin Reed could potentially miss the bowl game. Um, uh, Malachi Conley could play in this game. He's, he's projected to be an NFL um, draft choice in the middle rounds. Um, but the thing for me with here is that you know Western Kentucky at times has had a tendency to let players, even that are transferring and entering the transfer portal, play in bowl games, and um, you know that would definitely help them here. But one thing for sure that if, is if Austin Reed can't go. It definitely downgrades Western Kentucky's offense a little bit, considering how pass-heavy this Western Kentucky offense was in the regular season. Um, they were at, they were top twenty nationally in terms of passing yards, uh, top seventh in or excuse me seventh in passing attempts per game, just outside the top ten in completions per game. Um, and you know, Old Dominion they, they've been got, they've been good at stopping teams um, inside the red zone, but once you know if, if you allow explosive plays, this Old Dominion defense can be beat. But I think that this this could just be a bit of uh, Western Kentucky's offense maybe slowed down if there's like I said if there's no Austin Reed going definitely uh, definitely hurts a little bit. Old Dominion on the other side the offense wasn't great for Old Dominion this season the defense for Western Kentucky wasn't great either. But I just I don't see Old Dominion scoring a ton of points on even against this Western Kentucky defense. You know they put up 25 points or less in uh, three of their in each of their last four games. I put up 20 in a win over Georgia Southern. Or Georgia Southern team has been known for being a sib defensively this season. Um, only put up 17 against Southern Miss, who is a terrible team as well. Only 10 against Texas A&M Commerce earlier this season. So I think this is just going to be an ugly bowl game. I think that's just the long and short of it. I think it's going to be one of those games where the transfer portal really plays an impact on both of these teams. And I think that you know the way to look at this one is just a lack of production and just for a little bit of a slop fest for the full 60 minutes. So I'm going to go with the under 51 in this one. Um, I, like I said, I just think it's a lack of production on both sides. really hurts this game. So give me the under 51. They're going to be much better bowl games to bet on over the course of the uh, of the bowl season. But for right now, it's going to be the under between Old Dominion and Western Kentucky for me. That's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're at Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. And while you're at our YouTube channel, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here at Pick Dogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.